All right, what's up, guys? I figured I would walk you through uh, what it is actually like uh, to start seeing your dividends compounding in your account. Um, so I guess I will just get right into it. So here is my investment in Hershey. Uh, I bought it in mid-2014, 12 shares initially, and then I bought eight shares a little bit later. Um, so just getting right into it, the first dividends I ever received from Hershey were $9.70. And just so you're aware, I never purchased or put any more additional capital into my investment other than the reinvested dividends after June, what is that, July 16th of 2014. So I uh, initially had my $9.70. I had a dividend raise, so it went to $10.75. Uh, you can see by the end of 2015, I was getting $12 a quarter. Went to 20, um, 12 14 in early 2016. And the last time I got dividends, I got $13.11. So if you look at it that way, just on uh, from start to beginning, my dividends from Hershey have increased circa you know, 35%. Um, including the actual uh, value of each invested single dividend. So you can see in December 2015, Hershey took a quite of a dip, went down to $86. And so this $12 uh, reinvestment of my dividends is now worth $15. Um, so that's just a little bit of how uh, dividend reinvestment can, can really help you in the long term, especially if you don't make enough dividends to, uh, like these are just, 10 to, to 15 dollar you know every quarter so if you look at it that way you know not necessarily making enough where i could take that 10 to 15 dollars and go and reinvest it in something else right so let's uh let's take a quick look at a different all right so this is one i definitely want to uh, to, uh touch up on so this one might be a little bit easier to follow so middle of 2015 I purchased 100 shares of Stag Industrial, which is a uh, industrial commercial property owner. They basically buy warehouses, and maybe 8% of their portfolio is approximately office space. Um, but they mostly focused on um, secondary markets, um, meaning like not your prime locations like LA or anything like that. They're more so looking at you know up and coming. Um, cities that they essentially can um, acquire the warehouses anyway getting off topic so purchased this hundred shares uh, in mid 2015 and essentially every month uh, stag industrial pays a dividend right so 715 817 915 right so initially started off at ten dollars and eighty six cents so i mean this is literally within a year and a half right so started off at ten dollars and eighty six cents uh by the end of 2015 i was making eleven dollars and sixty one cents uh and by the middle so a year in i was making twelve dollars and twenty five cents so an increase of you know a dollar forty per month um and then now uh, I'm making just over or just under thirteen dollars a month, um, and so if you think about it, let's pull up a calculator real quick and don't make fun of me here. Whoops, got a lot of stuff open. Sorry. All right, so initially we're making ten. Whoops, ten eighty six times that by twelve. So I was making one hundred thirty dollars per year uh, for my investment in Stag Industrial. Now we're looking at uh, 1298 times 12 so I'm making 135 so just in the year and a half that I've owned it <clears throat> I've technically increased my yearly income by just under $26 right <clears throat> so if you were to think about this say you owned a thousand shares instead of a hundred shares right you you would have increased your income by $257 right you could literally add a, or move the decimal point one single spot. So instead of my initial investment uh, yielding me 1086 a month, it would have yielded me $108.60 per month. Right. Right now, I'd be making $129.08 per month. 
And same thing if you multiplied it again. So if you had 10,000 shares, you would have already increased your income by $2,000.567. Wait, sorry. $2,500.76. You know what I mean. Anyway, so that's just the power of compounding thus far, right? So um, imagine what this growth would look like, hopefully, if I don't have any dividend cuts or anything like that. Uh, and they continue to raise uh, the uh, payout like they have over the past year and a half, you know, how great this will become in 10, 15 years, right? Let's go to the next one. All right, so this is another example of a mortgage real estate investment trust, or some people call it MREIT, M-R-E-I-T. So my initial investment was $50. Um, and you can see now just uh, with a month or within five quarters, I've already accumulated, you know, six extra shares uh, of this. Um, so basically what you can see is initially paid out um, 48 cents per quarter. Um, and nothing's changed. I still believe it's 48 cents per quarter. But uh, due to essentially acquiring an additional share uh, per quarter, um, my dividend goes up by approximately 50 cents, 60 cents per quarter, right? So $24 and it went to, it added 60 cents uh, to get me 24.58, uh, added another, you know, 62 cents to get me 25.20, um, you know, and then it just so on and so forth. Um, so that's an example of a quarterly increase. So just from there, 24 to 26, that's, you know, 10% increase just on something that hasn't increased the dividend or anything like that, uh, but just dividend reinvestment uh, as a whole. All right, here's another one that I want to show you guys. Uh, it's my initial investment in Main Street Capital, which is a business development company, um, actually stationed right where I live in Houston, Texas. Um, so initially invested 75 shares um, which cost me about $2,500 uh, and that yielded me $13.50 per month and I have only done um, reinvestment I've never added any additional capital um, and so you can see uh, just within the past six or seven months that I've owned it um, my income has gone up you know almost a dollar a month so almost $12 um, over the past six months. Um, Main Street Capital pays out a special dividend um, every half year, uh, at least they have. Uh, they pay out the extra capital that they have. Um, in this case, I think it was like 28 cents, um, as opposed to the regular 18 uh, cent per, uh, per share per quarter, um, or per month, I'm sorry, type dividend. Um, so that's just another story of, you know, something going up just within five to six percent uh, over a six six month period, and that's without any dividend um, increases. Um, the only thing that has changed is just my um, share count as I continue to reinvest quarter after quarter, or month after month in this case. This one, um, this is maybe not the best success story, um, but. It is something that I still believe we'll see the, the impact of reinvested dividends. So as you can see, I'm quite down on this um, investment. Um, initially invested $502, um, and technically I only have a value of $344. But uh, nonetheless, I invested a in five shares of the company. This was one of my first purchases uh, when I first started working full time. This was in the first six months of me making decent money. And so per quarter I was making $7.50. Um, two and a half years later, I'm making $19 or $9. I wish it was $19. $9.18. .18. So those of you who do not know what Icon Enterprises is, uh, it is the investment vehicle for Carl Icon to invest in. <clears throat> whatever he wants, Herbalife, uh, Federal Mogul, um, and a bunch of different other uh, investments that he has. Um, Realty Income Corp. 
Um, I initiated the position in November 2016, and um, that was for 110 shares, so very similar to my stag industrial um, type investment. Um, this also um, gives dividends quarter, uh, monthly, I'm sorry. Um, so the first dividends that I received, $22.22, uh, and just within three months, you can see that it has already increased an entire dollar per year. So just in three months of reinvested dividends, actually two months of reinvested dividends, my dividends have gone up an entire dollar per year. So I've already increased um, an entire $12 per year, $1 per month off of this investment. So if you think about it that way, I've already increased 5%. Now, some of that was due to a dividend increase, um, but as you can see, just from um, here to here, I increased about 14 cents just in one month. Uh, so even if there was no dividend reinvestment, uh, or even if there was no dividend raise from Realty Income Corporation, I still, by the end of the year, would have accumulated in over an entire dollar of increased dividends, increasing my money um, or my income $12 per year. So if you think about it, say I were to invest in a thousand shares, this would have been 222. And I already would have increased my income another thir uh, $10, right? Instead of $1 a month, it would have been increased at $10 per month. Uh, and same thing if I were to invest in $10,000. I would have made $2,222 and I would have already increased my income another $100 per month. I mean, so if you look at it that way, it's, you know, there's a reason why Albert Einstein said this is the eighth wonder of the world is, you know, you, you can exponentially grow your wealth very quickly. Um, all you just need to do is get the uh, initial investment and in the capital. Um, and obviously it's the same mathematics. It just, depends on how much invested capital you have, right? But it's it's very perfect to see something that's only 100 shares or, or so. You could say, okay, well, just add another zero. And you can see exactly what the impact would be if you just added another zero. Um, and, of course, you know, it's a large investment, $6,200. It's one of the largest investments I have. Uh, but if you think about it, if you had $60,000, you'd be getting $222 a month. Um, and you would have already been getting $233 a month. Um, I mean, that's, you know, it's not, it's not the best investment in the world, but it is something that's very safe. Realty Income Corporation has been providing dividends for over 20 years, of which they've increased the dividend 50 or so times um, and at almost like an exponential rate. Uh, it's definitely almost been about 10-ish percent. If you had invested in the early days, you would have gotten an annual return of about 19 to 20%. Um, so in that respect, very safe. Um, they operate triple net leases. So the tenants uh, occupy and pay for the property taxes. They pay for property management and they pay for, I always forget what the third thing is, but um, basically Realty Income Corporation just has to own the actual building itself but they're not liable for any damages or anything like that because that's going to be paid for by the tenant. So, um, okay, well, I think I'm going to end the video here. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. I was going to jump into my computer shares uh, account, and uh, but it doesn't really have it as clearly laid out as Fidelity does. So in that respect, I was kind of looking uh, through it, and I figured, well, might not necessarily be the best. Maybe what I could do is make a separate video on computer shares. Um, it allows you to direct invest or invest directly, sorry, with the companies that you wish to do. Um, just I guess to name a few, I've uh, Abvi, Waste Management, Verizon, uh, Altria Group, Philip Morris, uh, IBM. Uh, those are just a few. Of the companies that I do uh, computer shares with, and that so essentially they're just the middleman that allows me to invest directly with the company instead of going through a, a site like Fidelity or Vanguard. Um, so I really would appreciate your guys' comments. Uh, reach out to me. Um, 
you know, with respect to how long I've been investing or anything like that. Uh, we'll definitely love to talk to you guys if you have any other uh, investment ideas for dividend income or long-term wealth uh, wealth growth uh, as a whole. I would love to talk to you guys. Um, so appreciate you stopping by the video, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.